I've got a title sequence now. In the 19th century, paleontology was rapidly growing in popularity, with frequent discoveries of monstrously sized animals capturing the imagination of the public. One such creature was Basilosaurus, the name literally translating to King Reptile. This name, however, shows that there were some misinterpretations around the time of its discovery. It was thought that Basilosaurus was a gigantic lizard-like creature, but it's now known to be a genus of extinct whale. This genus was much more slender than most of the modern whales, as the climate of the Eocene Epoch was much warmer than it is today. There were two species of Basilosaurus, one in North America, Basilosaurus cetoides, and another in North Africa, Basilosaurus isis. Of course, both of these places don't seem like suitable habitats for whales, particularly the Sahara Desert. During the Eocene, there weren't any ice caps due to this warmer climate, and this allowed for a greater area of sea and ocean, hence the presence of whales, and particularly Basilosaurus, in what are now landlocked areas. But what's particularly notable about Basilosaurus and other Eocene cetaceans is the presence of external hind limbs. These creatures occurred quite early on in the evolutionary history of whales. It didn't even have a blowhole, but rather nostrils at the rather more conventional position at the front of the snout. The hind limbs, however, were completely unnecessary body parts, being greatly diminished in size, and therefore being vestigial. Vestigialism is one of the most compelling pieces of evidence for evolution. Organs and limbs, once useful to ancestral species, will diminish over millions of years and continue to do so until no longer present. These may be the legs and eyes of olms, the spurs on some snakes, and even the human appendix. Even in modern whales this can still be found, as many of them still have vestigial hip bones embedded within a mass of muscle and blubber deep where they used to have external limbs. Whales found today are not the descendants of Basilosaurus. The North American species largely fed on fish, and the Egyptian Basilosaurus could prey on larger creatures like turtles and dorodons. It would appear that they had the sa same or similar ecological niche as modern orcas. Basilosaurus, though, lacked the larger brain of other whales, and was so well adapted to hunting in their environment that when it began to change, that Basilosaurus could only go extinct. Now, I'm going to be off for a bit. I'm going to uh, Madagascar. So, uh, goodbye. Oh, that's going to be the next video. Going to Madagascar. So, uh, stay tuned for that.